302. <laughs> yeah, right, right? Guess what? Today, we are getting physical. That's right. You're going to do something for yourself for only five minutes. Uh, not like an hour or a 30 minute workout or anything like that. We're going to do, let me give my notes because I want to make sure I explain it to you right. So what you're going to do for today's activity for five minutes. Um, you are going to walk in place. Can you handle that? So, um, again, I am a fitness coach, but I am not a personal certified trainer. I'm not a doctor. So certainly uh, don't do this if it's, you know, against medical advice, um, you know, at your own risk, as it were, I have to give a disclaimer. But I want you to get up and move and just walk in place for five minutes at any point throughout the day just one time you don't have to do this multiple times unless you just want to but start off slow for like the first minute start walking a little faster for maybe like two minutes and then the, that um, fourth minute and fifth minute just kind of slow it down and slow it on down until you're like slowly into like a little shuffle as it were um, and now if you live in a place where it's sunny then I actually, another option, because there are two options, you can walk in place for five minutes, or if you live in a place like I do where it's really sunny, I want you to go outside. Again, not against medical advice. I'm not a doctor, so um, this is just a suggestion if it's safe for you to do. And with your arms and your legs exposed, and just let the sun get on you for about five minutes. Um, not if it's 5,000 degrees and you're going to get sunburned and whatnot, but... That sun exposure is really good for helping to uh, relieve depression, increase that increase that vitamin D, and um, it's just good, you know, to get the sun on you just you know briefly and safely. And um, like I said, if you're in a place that's gloomy and cold or it's just not sunny, then you can do the walking in place for five minutes. So um, either or, it's up to you. Uh, make sure you comment uh, either with a picture or video of you doing your physical activity. And um, I look forward to seeing it. And let me know how you feel afterwards. Cause let's face it, some of us, uh, well, I'm back on my workout thing, but I wasn't for over a year. So, and it hasn't been very long, but my point is, is that uh, if you fall off the wagon, just walking in place for five minutes can, you know, hey, we're just getting started nice and slow. But the reason why it's so good is because, let me get off the floor is that, um, you know, moving is good for the brain. It's good for the body, gets the blood flow going, the oxygen flow and things like that. So, and it kind of hits a reset button, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. Walk in place for five minutes or get some sunlight for five minutes, okay? Can you do that? I think you can. Again, you made the commitment to do this for yourself for the week. Like I said, these activities are very simple, very easy, but small things that you can do that are going to start making a difference. And if you haven't thought of this yet or noticed, really what you should be doing is with each activity each day, there's nothing that says that you only have to do it that day and you can't implement it into your daily routine. See, these are not only things that are allowing you to get back to being you, but are teaching you little small things that you can do every day for yourself to help you keep it together <laughs> and get better. So really, you should be building. So what you did day one, keep doing that day two, and then add day two, and then day three. See what I'm saying? So by the time you get to the end of the seventh day, woo, you're going to have all kinds of stuff. Little things to get you through your day. They're going to help you recharge and just you know, feel more like yourself. So anywho, I look forward to seeing your videos and pictures and posts.